Hilton Head Island Elementary School for the Creative Arts, we are invested in an arts integrated focus within our classrooms, meshing the art standards of learning and theater, dance, music, art, and STEAM enhances standards-based learning by adding an element of rigor and really tapping into the interests of each child. We enjoy a wonderful collaboration amongst our school community and various shareholders. Every person is committed to supporting our school-wide vision of providing a high-quality educational experience through the arts so that each child we serve will grow and flourish into a successful future as an adult. As a parent of a second grader and a fifth grader, I've been an active member of the PTO for many years now, and it has really enabled me to have a holistic view of the school. Not only do I know my children's teachers personally, but I also know many of the teachers in the school, including the media specialists, the specials teachers. I've really gotten to have a personal relationship with each and every person who touches my child each day. My kids just love the art-infused approach to each aspect of their learning, not only in the classroom, but in specials and throughout their day, their experience to different forms of art and it's made school really fun for them you know at this age I feel like the love of learning is really fostered and this school has really provided that for my children. As one of two of the bilingual liaisons our main job is to help our Spanish-speaking parents communicate with teachers and or any member from the school when it's required. We play a strong role with problem solving and collaborating with faculty and parents to ensure the students are successful. We're basically a bridge between families and school with help with IEP meetings, parent-teacher conferences, and email events and most of all we are also advocates for our families. As a parent and staff I'm proud to be part of our SCA family. I need your attention in five, four, three, two, one. Here at Hilton Head Island School for the Creative Arts, as a staff, we've come together and tried to simplify things by having school culture. One of the school cultures that we're using is called CHAMPS. And what CHAMPS is, is CHAMPS is a way of getting a child's attention while still respecting what their conversations are, giving them a chance to, to come around, telling them exactly what the expectations are throughout whatever it is we're doing. Not only are we doing it in just one classroom, we're also doing it in every classroom in the building. So no matter where the child goes, or the student goes, they're getting the exact same treatment so they know exactly what's gonna happen. At SCA, we have adopted a single school culture. This has enabled the staff to determine which areas of the school we felt needed more structure and or routines to build a more consistent and positive environment. One part has been the incorporation of name tags for all students. Each student is provided a purple lanyard, purple's our school color for promoting arts. This has really helped to get to know students by their names, which just continues to add to that family feel to our school. Specific call passes are in every classroom. They're required when a child leaves the room. Again, just another safety feature and an accountability for students to have optimum time in the classroom. Leader cards are another part of the single school culture. Each week, a specific skill is targeted. An example is taking care of technology. Students are required to carry computers in their computer bags in order to protect the device. If a teacher catches a student being good, then a leader card can be awarded. These cards can be redeemed for school incentives such as sitting with a friend for lunch or actual prizes like bicycles and scooters, etc. This single school culture really has put into place more structure and routine, which helps the days to go more smoothly, safely, and in a positive school environment. We decided in the summer that we would decorate our hallway and make it interactive so that the kids could learn from it as well as and just enjoying the ambiance of it. We went with the Low Country Ecosystem theme and it's something that we are building upon all year long. It happens to tie in really nicely with our River of Words project, which we participate in every year. And the kids can then write poetry about the Port Royal Sound and the area around it, all the habitats. And so this ties in really nicely with what we're doing there. Lion doesn't. In our classroom, we read and then we write about what we read in the text, and there's really no wrong answers. An inquiry is when there's no right or wrong answer, and I like just talking about them, and you get to hear other people's answers, and you get to read the book like over and over again. My question to you is, here at Creative Arts, teachers collaborate in professional learning communities several times a week to plan and employ methods to continue improve how we educate our students using what we like to call best teacher practices. This strategy calls for teachers to collect formal and informal data to differentiate instruction for students. In other words, teachers create, implement, and monitor learning plans for every student to help them achieve academic success. We use our multiplication charts and we look back in the book to find notes to help us get the answer. In the STEAM classroom, we do a lot 
with art. The A being huge in STEAM because in the planning process, we are critically thinking, we're collaborating, we're communicating, and we're creating. So when they plan in the stage of engineering design, they are using the arts to do so. And some students plan really well visually, some using music, some using dance, some even acting. And so they work together collaboratively to develop a plan. And then they build and they create. And when they build and create, that's the art form as well. And the most important part of that, just like a composer rewrites a song or an actor in improv changes their thoughts or a dancer choreographs different, in STEAM they use the arts to plan and create. And then they make a mistake, that's good. They improve it and they use that critical thinking piece to figure it out after they've tested it. I need to do this better. And so the arts lends itself a huge advantage for the STEAM classroom. Some exciting things we have going on here at Creative Arts through our physical education department is we partner with community groups such as the First Tee Program. They come in for lessons. We have tennis lessons in tandem with our high school. We've had lacrosse lessons in tandem with our high school teams, swim lessons with the rec center. We also were the recipients of an innovative grant to bring Gaga Ball to our schools. And on top of that, we are one of the only elementary schools in the area that has a pickleball court on site. So our students not only get tennis, but they get the most popular sport right now, pickleball. So that's several very exciting things we have for our students here at Creative Arts. Our school as an arts-based curriculum school, we help children focus on not just the products and finding the answers, but the process along the way, which is a big part of all the different art forms, painting and drawing, dancing, writing songs, starting in a play and starring in a play. It's more about the process and the journey, the problem solving, the improvisation. Using those creative thinking skills is something that students really need in all aspects of their life, and it only just strengthens their academic learning more. I like to do art because it helps me express my feelings with different colors. The main thing I want to communicate to parents and students about creative arts is that I came here in July and they have treated me just like family. The staff, the people, the students, everything's incredible. We walk through the hall, we give each other high fives, we're here to help each other. As I tell the teachers all the time, I work for them and I want to make sure their job is done to the best of their ability because we have some amazing teachers. The culture here is phenomenal. When you make a choice, you know when your child comes here, they're going to be loved and they're going to be educated.